Hello and welcome to this short introduction into how to use trigonometric identities to rearrange equations to get them in the form of one trig function. And firstly we have tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta and sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. Now let me just clear something up about sine squared theta. Sine squared theta is equal to, say you was to enter it into a calculator, sine theta squared and not it's not equal to sine theta squared this is the sine of the angle squared this is the sine of the angle all of that squared Just clear that up now we can use these identities really basically to find where the sine and the cosine curve cross um, Sine x, where does y equals sine x equal y equals cos x? Now, basically, we need to sort of get it all over to one side in the form of one trigonometric function. Now, we have tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. We have sine x equals cos x. So, divide both sides by cos x, you get sine x. I use x just because it's easier to draw than a theta over cos x equals 1 but hang on we've got tan there so we actually have tan x equal to 1 if you saw my video on trig ratios you'll know that x is equal to 45 then due to the little triangle and that's really 45 degrees is where the sine curve meets the cosine curve and that's really a basic thing well this basic use of trigonometric identities you can use them more advanced to sort of rearrange something like this where you have to use knowledge of both identities Feel free to skip ahead and try and solve this yourself, but this is just going to be a work solution. Now, 1 minus cos squared theta, using this second identity, we can arrange this to get 1 minus cos squared theta, and then you'll just be left with sin squared theta. So, 1 minus cos squared theta is equal to sin squared theta sine squared theta or x I have one works and squared x and now we've got a fraction and that usually means that we're going to have to use our first identity and although this one has squares in it the same thing still applies because it's squared it doesn't change so sin squared x over tan squared x will equal to be equal to cos squared x because sine theta or well, sine x over tan x equals cos sine squared x over tan squared x equals cos squared x easy now for instance we can have another example of sine squared x over 1 minus sine squared x now it's the sort of the same it's just the denominator which needs cleaning up so 1 minus sin squared x is equal to cos squared x so you end up with sine squared x over cos squared x which is equal to tan squared x now 
And this is this is just how a basic level reduce trigonometric identities. So to get these equations in term of one trig function because then they become solvable. And now in my next video I'll show you how to use trigonometric equations to solve solve where points cross on the graph and other problems that you'll encounter in the exam. Stay tuned.